check. Hello, everybody. This is Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. We have an emergency update. We just did our broadcast about uh, 10 this minutes is ago. Paul from Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. We have an emergency update. We just did our broadcast about uh, 10 minutes uh so we just did our broadcast about 10 minutes ago and uh evidently uh according to the russians the president of iran ibrahim rossi is now dead his helicopter was shot down russian sources say we have nothing to do with it israel says um so folks um this is very very significant uh if iran can claim that israel shot this presidential helicopter down then that is an act of war and we will have the big war in the middle east that um that we've been talking about for a long time so let's go ahead i'm gonna stop it right there giving all the praise honor and glory to yahweh bahashem yahweh shai bahashem rakaha kudash hey this just uh came out i've been following this story all day you know um <clears throat> this off grid there's a farmer he gets his news from as you can see, War News 24-7. They be on point, man. War News is on point. It's a war channel going into Matthews 24. War and rumors of war. So you can get the war rumors of war from over here. It's in Greek, <clears throat> but you can um, convert the language, you know, to what language you speak. But anyway, now they saying this uh, this guy is dead. Earlier it was just a crash, a hard landing. You know, you check out certain sources. Like I said, I've been following this all day. This was the, you know, they were saying that, uh, you know, it was a hard crash, helicopter crash, live news. You know, he was missing. I ran president update, you know, as you can see, six hours ago. So this is an ongoing story. Helicopter carrying Iran's president has crashed. They wasn't saying that he was dead. He was, they crashed. The, uh, the, a storm was in the area making way to them. And, they had to land, but it was a hard emergency landing. Now, that didn't sound right because, you know, the weight that this guy carry and the equipment and the technology and the satellites they got to clear the path before they even set off. And, you know, the helicopters are very sensitive, man, you know, to the atmosphere. So people that know about, you know, air control, you understand the dynamics of the helicopter, how it moves, you know. Um, so when I heard that and he was like, they kind of flying in to a storm or a cloud or whatever. It just sounds suspicious. Now they're saying it was shot down and Russia, as you can hear on off grid, saying that this guy is dead. Now, why would Russia put that out? We don't know, but this thing is heating up. Cause this, if this is true, if this, this helicopter was shot down <laughs> and the small hats has something to do with this, woo wee, woo wee, man. We about we look at, at, at an intense, quick speed up to Jacob's trouble, man. Right to story. This is breaking news that the uh, the Iranian president's helicopter crashed earlier today. They were looking for it. Now the Russians have came out and said that it was shot down, uh, and the only country that would shoot it down would be Israel. So let's go ahead and read the article and catch you up on uh, up on the date. So this is the uh, Iranian president, um, Ibrahim Rossi. His helicopter did crash earlier today. According to Russian sources, the president of Iran, Ibrahim Rossi, is now dead. According to the same sources, his helicopter was shot down by an anti-aircraft missile, probably a man pad. There were three helicopters in the presidential convoy. The only thing that didn't make it was the helicopter of the Iranian president. The remaining two landed safely in Tabriz, a, larger, a large northern city in northwestern Iran. The official IRNA news agency said Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullian was among those aboard the helicopter, <clears throat> as were the governor of the province of the region's chief, uh, chief Iman. 
Western and Israeli intelligence agencies come to the same assessment regarding the death of Ibrahim Rossi, but they report that this happened due to bad weather conditions and perhaps lack of maintenance. Yes, sure. Iran's president did not survive the helicopter crash. Israeli Khan Media now reports, while Israeli Channel 12 reporter uh, Daphna Lee emphasized that according to assessments by Western intelligence agencies, Iran's president did not survive the crash. Hmm. They also claim that Israel is not related to the crash of the Iranian president's helicopter added meaningful that Israeli officials who spoke to the Israeli Channel 13. Russia and Turkey have said they are ready to help in the search for the Iran president. In fact, Tehran has already asked Ankara for helicopters with night vision equipment for the search and rescue operations. So this thing Ankara is going to be intense. A... Now you got Turkey, which is uh, a member of NATO, right? the beast with seven heads and 10 horns. They teaming up, you know, Turkey is like 70%, something like that, 80, you know, Islamic. <clears throat> you know, they teaming up with Russia, the bear, to look for this helicopter. Remember, the, I'm gonna have to say this, the world is a stage. The world is a stage. So this can all be a stage event to bring in the pain and place that blame on Iran and the bear. So do be aware, there's hands moving in the background to this thing, man. You know, so as we take this stuff, you know, do the media with a grain of salt, we stay in the scriptures, we stay guided by the Holy Spirit of discipline at this time, because all kind of tricks are gonna be pulled out the bag, you know, to bring in the pain on Great Babylon. They searching for the 144 men. They searching for the men of the Lord. You know, they trying to get at them. <clears throat> you know, um, this thing is about to really intensify. You know, so brace yourself. We we, we, we here. We here. So if this thing is, is, you know, whether it's true in the media or for real, for real, they brought this guy down. Yo, we, we here. This is, um, this is a uh, revelations. 12 verse 12 therefore rejoice you heavens and ye that dwell in them and the heavens start with the elect woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil which is Esau is come down unto you having great wrath man that's intense pain this man intends on bringing intense pain down upon this earth. We're in a time, we're in a very serious time of history changing for the men of the Lord. So this will be very intense. So he's going to come down upon you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath a short time so we're gonna be watching this close you know we're gonna be watching this close man. to people to assist in the search and rescue as well as six vehicles from the van in uh azurum afad provincial offices in addition mountaineer search and rescue personnel consisting of 15 people each from Ankara, turkey uh, and other two Turkey cities are now on alert. Israel is now saying that they had nothing to do with the crash of the Iranian president's helicopter. Uh, folks, we're going to find out. We're going to find out uh, probably in the next couple days what actually happened. Iranian defense and security analyst Farzin Nadami stressed that helicopters used for high-ranking officials can transmit their exact locations in the event of a crash unless an explosion has disabled all the aircraft systems including the emergency system okay it so is possible we know that about that system so if it was a regular crash 
you know, we all got that system, you know, in our vehicles, but you got to think about high ranking officials, you know, they got the top of the line system. So if it was a regular crash, there'd be some form of black box, which is not black, it's actually orange, you know, some form of GPS, something that tell them where you crash unless it was an explosion and everything got blown up. So we watching, we watching, man. I'm stopping right there. This is off grid desert farming. You go right over here, check it out. You know, stay in tune. It's getting, it's about to increase. Shalom.